Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. Ah, mom. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. I should call my phone. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. I want mom to be happy, but not like this. Not like this! Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie better. Nah. The heart can only take so much. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. I need to find my phone before I head down there.
All right, phone. Donde estas? My phone's definitely in the bathroom. Ugh. I drank way too much last night. Or was it just enough? There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. David's here so early. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. He's pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. You never saw the condoms. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Family pic used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? It's my job to water these plants, but it was dad's job to remind me, so nobody's fault, really. From when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Haven't really felt like sitting down to eat since David started having dinner here. Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? 
This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Joyce Price, AKA Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry, I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? 
Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Your boyfriend's an asshole. He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and... if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure Dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. I can't take any more arguing today. Go give David his keys. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. 
When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Where's the socket wrench set again? All I see in the garage is family stuff. You know, not your stuff. Dick around on your own time. It's in the toolbox, in the garage. You won't be late to school on my watch. Wait, isn't that a socket wrench right there? You deaf or just lazy? You said you needed your socket wrench. That's the 5 8 inch. I need the 13 16 inch extension, which is in the set, which is in the garage, like I said. Unbelievable. Whatever. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. This was the photo mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. I should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? There's his stupid socket wrench set. <sighs> Let's get this shit show over with. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Mom should date literally anyone else. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right.
How you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Shemapel don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? You can't threaten me. You know how I know? Because you just tried, and fuck you. I can crap bigger than you. Just remember that. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... your mother... You're breaking her heart. Your fake-ass concern can eat a dick, and so can you. That's enough. I won't stand for your disrespectful mouth. Regard for authority unites us, gives us dignity, and we are better united than divided. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this... Staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use. It's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? You don't know how lucky you are to have a mother like Joyce. She's an amazing woman. Coddles you, it's true. But it's only because she loves you. Problem is, you don't learn discipline that way. Give me one chance to show her how things could be, and you'll be singing a different tune. Mark my words. <laughs> 